Very slow Saturday. Very soft. Bright. Out for my morning walk. Morning cup of not plain fucking water. Morning meditation and morning treasure hunting. Just all sorts of treasures. Um, no, but I am uh, kind of fired up in thought and feeling on... Um, there was quite the reaction of my series of posts on the stories we need to stop believing. Um, of course it's upsetting. These are stories we latch on to that we try to fill into the blank of our empty lives <clears throat> to fill in the emptiness of our lives and then when somebody threatens it, we just get fucking like psychotic. And now people are posting, DMing me, DMing others who are supporting the move and, and the logic and the principles of just nature and backing it with science and all this other shit. I just want to clear something up. So think of this. <laughs> Human beings are, right now at this time, are starving. Not in the sense of food, although, yeah, nourishment, but we're lacking in so many things in our lives and the body's appropriate response would be a healing response, so symptoms would make sense of all kinds. Um, feelings of all kinds. Uh, and the body's just craving for input and nourishment and I'm not talking fucking food so get off food everything but we right now after 21 years of me observing all this clinically and then personally in my life we're at an all-time low we're at an all-time low of evolution of function of everything it means to be a human other than being able to use your phone and navigate apps and make a video but we are like literally plummeting down and in this plummet, we'll hold on to everything that's gotten us here. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, <laughs> like, we're not starving for stretching. We're starving for movement. We're not starving <laughs> for lasers and red light. We're starving for natural light and the sun. We're not starving for passive treatments and energy boosting hacks and all this shit we're starving for sleep we're not starving for guidance or a group gathering or some sort of guru or somebody else's life we're starving for our own values and beliefs we're starving on the basics of basics of basics yet we're trying to quench and nourish that starvation with all these fucking things like stretching and water and red lights and passive treatments and jogging and all this shit. And then when somebody goes and just says, look, but one, doesn't seem to be working. Two, that's not really how the body works. Three, here's a solution. You freak the fuck out. And that's part of like, everybody does that. They'll defend everything that's gotten to this point, blah, blah, blah. But that was the whole point of this whole thing. If your life is saturated in movement, and I'm talking not a fucking program that you bought from some science nerd on Instagram. I'm literally talking about like a program you can implement, inputs you can implement in movement in your life, anytime, anywhere, to the greatest level, no equipment, literally within the privacy of you, 20 to 30 times a day, you're just saturated in movement. And you want to stretch? Go a fucking head. <laughs> when you do it long enough, though, what you're going to see is the people that move and, and actually get that, they would never even think of stretching. It wouldn't make sense to them. If you are totally nourished with air and sun and, like, foods <laughs> and people and connection, and you're literally wanting water go a fucking head again when you have this being satisfied to you it won't make sense when you get to a point plain water just won't make fucking sense but if you filled in the gap with actual principles of and laws of human and you want to add this stupid shit in go ahead stay happy fill the gap 
you wouldn't need the science to justify. You just fucking do it. If you're outside all the time, especially in the morning, getting your morning exposure to your morning light, not morning sun, morning light, and if it's full in your day and you're just, again, primed and saturated with natural light and you want to go get a fucking laser or a red light bulb or some hack for your house, go a fucking head. <laughs> if you're actually healed and your body's not screaming in symptoms, meaning it's trying to like get your attention to change, and you feel fantastic and you have this approach to life and the body is actually responding and you wanna go do some passive bullshit treatment, go a fucking head. It's not going to affect you. You won't see any reason for it other than just maybe you're supporting somebody or maybe it feels good or maybe whatever. But the whole thing is, it doesn't make sense because it wouldn't make sense because you actually have done the things, the hard changes in life, the simple changes in life over and over and over. And so you'll look at it and be like, ah, but you're not looking for it to save you. Just like water's not gonna save you, stretching's not gonna increase your performance to save you, red lights aren't gonna save you. <laughs> if you've got a belief and value system that you work on all the time and you fight for and you work with it, you challenge it, and you are literally convicted so strongly to a way of life, a value system and a belief that only makes fucking sense to you, and you wanna go to some tribal freedom group fest, go. You want to go see a guru speak because it's interesting? Go. <laughs> it won't affect you how it's going to affect the people that don't have beliefs and values, who are going to lob up to somebody save me, who are going to fight for somebody else's beliefs and values because they don't have any. So to justify, before all the posts are coming out defending stretching, and then add science to it, defending water, and then add science to it, defending red lights and add science, defending all these hacks and all these passive treatments, acupuncture, massage, chiropractic, fucking rolfing, reiki, trauma-informed, body work, lasers, TRT, MAT, MAP, PAP, PR, all this shit, <laughs> again, we're not lacking the things that I just said, the stories we gotta stop believing. We're not lacking in that. But we're trying to fill these massive gaps in our lives with these savior solutions, these fixes. And if you just step back and you go, is it working? <laughs> Because if it's working, you should be getting better. You should be improving. Every single day, you should be leveling higher, stronger, more able, more nourished, more connected, more clear on who you need to spend time on, <laughs> what you need to believe in, where you need to be, what you need to be doing, what your passion is, what your purpose is, what you're willing to fight for. Like, it'll all be working. <laughs> so if you want to stretch, go a fucking head. But you better damn well move. If you want to use red light and, and lamps and lasers and hacks and all this shit, that's fine. But you damn well better get out in the natural light. <laughs> if you want to drink water and add water packets and water systems and all this shit, that's fine. But you better get your ass outside, ground, breathe air, nourish and connect with people and, and work on sleep, which is going to hydrate you to fill this gap of nourishment. Because those that are nourished never even think about hydration. Those that are well moved would never even think about stretching. They wouldn't even think about it. Those that actually get exposure to the light, they wouldn't even think about this infrared laser. <laughs> It'd be a comical add-in that if somebody were selling it or giving it to you, sure, I'll do that. It's not gonna replace the sun. Sure, I'll drink some of this shit. It's not gonna replace my nourishment. Sure, I'll go fucking stretch on the ground for five to 30 minutes in my day. It's not gonna replace my movement requirement so again i really don't give a shit what you do but when i say these things the human being each day each second is lacking 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 more and more because we keep looking for these fixes in the world of stretching water gurus passive treatments feel better supplements oils and herbs detoxes parasite cleanses lights all these things my god 
We are starving, but we're not starving for the shit that's coming down on the food trucks, uh, coming into your houses and coming into your IG sponsored ads and all the science-based videos and science-based posts and all this other shit. So if you wanna keep that stuff in your life, go ahead, just understand where you're actually starving. And I will say this again, because there's very few people that I've bumped into who actually grasp it, but when you do grasp it, you start talking to them, you ask them, that those little hacks and things, those little fillers, those thirst quenchers, they wouldn't make sense. And so they just would be a comical little decoration on the freaking Christmas tree. But the ornament's not gonna make the whole thing. So that's it. That's where I wanna go with this in justification because it's just pure sad and comical. Now, how many people, how those posts just really upset people, which is fine, that, that's kind of the point. But then the retaliation in this, like to defend these markers, like, my fucking God, we will fight and fight and fight for somebody else's beliefs and somebody else's thing, that stuff that's just not working. We will defend it and fight it to the nth degree of our being, but we won't fight for ourselves. But we won't fight for nature. We won't fight for principles. We won't fight for law. <laughs> and bottom line, we'll fight for what doesn't work. Oh, because it's sexy, it's popular, it sells, it feels good. It's comforting. The masses support it. Maybe science supports it. All right, I'm done. I got more important things to do than justify somebody's desire to stretch or drink water or use lasers and lights and red lights and go to passive treatment artists and go to festivals that have gurus and read the books on the gurus and how to change your life I'm gonna go actually live live my life the one experiment we should be worried about the n equals one your life <laughs>